It's much easier for terrorists to obtain things like machine guns, like rocket propelled grenades, rather than surface to air missiles. These threats are becoming prevalent and we have to be able to counter those threats. That's what's driven our change of focus from surface to air missiles to these hostile fire sources. AEDC, through the Advanced Missile Signature Center, provides a defense intelligence agency accredited signature models. So if you are an aircraft, say a helicopter, you have a missile warning system on that helicopter, that missile warning system is going to be tested against a variety of sources, including things like hardware-in-the-loop testing. That means that hardware-in-the-loop test has to have a signature model to provide the threat signature. What we do is we predict the motion of the gas as it expands behind the bullet and the barrel of the gun. When the bullet leaves, the gas expands supersonically, has a, an expansion region that grows downstream rapidly and then recedes slowly towards the barrel of the gun as, as the barrel empties. And downstream of that expansion region, there's a subsonic plume that just grows in the downstream direction. In that subsonic plume region, the gas makes a visible signature in the infrared, optical, and, and ultraviolet regimes of the electromagnetic spectrum. And because we predict those things, we can also derive from that prediction a signature from the weapon. Really the goal of this project is to ultimately protect um, Air Force assets and, and its most important asset, uh, the warfighter, by being able to help distinguish um, when the warfighter and these, these low flying aircrafts and helicopters are, are being confronted with a hostile fire or enemy fire. Participating in the Air Force Saber program has been a key part of our growth. We've grown from a small two or three person company um, in a basement to uh, 105 employees and about a $20 million uh, company, largely through Air Force Saber and other DOD Saber programs. That's really where we get a lot of the new concepts and ideas and then we're able to take those to the next level. Part of our mission is to create models of uh, weapon systems. Uh, threat weapon system, and those models are then used to test sensors. CFDRC has worked on a couple of projects for us, and now they're working on this hostile fires. They've really provided a lot of expertise and knowledge to AEDC. Without this technology, we could not perform the flow field and signature calculations we needed to compute the signatures of these fast, transient muzzle blast, muzzle flash signatures from rocket propelled grenades and, and machine guns. So without that, we simply can't meet our customers' needs.